Good afternoon. Welcome to Eastern Washington University. I am Sherry McMahon, president of this great university. You know, it is all about greatness. That is one of our eagle traits. Oh, it's not on. I'm sorry. We're told this is not on. Oh, we're good. Thank you. Ryan says we're good. Greatness is just one of our eagle traits. There's grit, grace, and gratitude. And I am here to extend my gratitude to everyone that showed up today to make Eastern so such a wonderful university and place to be. So in introducing our new head coach, I'd like to turn it over to Tim Collins, our athletic director. Welcome, everyone. Another great room. What a great group. Randy, you were here about nine months ago, and we get to do it again. A lot of great energy in here. Uh, first, I'd like to start by um, thanking our, our search committee and uh, our senior leadership team in our athletics department. Uh, I had the great fortune of being joined by our vice president of student affairs, Dr. Leah Jarnigan, and our, and our search for a basketball coach. Thank you, Dr. Jarnigan, for being here today. And also our senior administration in athletics, our deputy athletic director, Todd McGann, senior associate athletic director and senior woman administrator, Catherine Walker, our senior associate athletic director and CFO, Alex Kelly, and from external relations and marketing, Ryan Eicher. Um, our team really helped get this process through the finish line and kept our athletics department moving, uh, moving forward over the last two weeks. Having the opportunity to hire a new basketball coach, we had to first identify what values and traits we were looking for. And no doubt, because of the success that we've had here at Eastern in men's basketball, there was incredible interest. And like I've, like I've stated already on my phone, it was a little overwhelming maybe at times. Uh, but ultimately, our mission was to identify a candidate who could not just stabilize, but elevate Eastern basketball. So day one, we talked to the team. Okay, and thank you guys for being here today. Kind of went in and sat down. We said, what are we looking for? Sebastian, what we kept coming back to, kept coming back to culture, right? Mace, we talked about culture. Well, when you win coach of the year five times, when you take three different teams to the NCAA tournament, when you win two championships in the last three years, you've demonstrated that your programs demonstrate a strong culture. When you have as, as impressive of a history with every player exhausting their eligibility in your program, either going pro or graduating, your program is demonstrating a strong culture. A lot of challenges right now in college athletics and, and specifically in men's basketball and having a coach that has the experience to meet some of those challenges, that's incredibly valuable for our department and for our program. As a university, we know what we mean to Spokane County. With this year's graduating class at Eastern Washington, our alumni count in Spokane County will reach 50,000 alumni. 50% 50 of our teachers in our region come from Eastern Washington. A lot of our alumni go to work for great organizations like Spokane Public Schools, companies like Avista, and countless healthcare providers. And with our new cohort of nurses, even more nurses. Bottom line, we matter. Bottom line, as a university, we matter. And as the search unfolded, it was clear. The city of Cheney, Spokane County, what our university represents and symbolizes for our region as much as we matter to our region, we have a coach now this region matters just as much to him. And so with that, I have the great pleasure of formally introducing to you our head men's basketball coach, Coach Dan Munson. Coach. So my dad kind of waddling up with the walker here when he was introduced and I thought I was going to get switched at the end there and dad was going to be the head coach when it came out. But uh, um, 
had a press conference less than a month ago at the NCAA tournament, and I started uh, the press conference by saying, you know, that I was working for free that day, and so I didn't have to answer any of your questions. Um, today I got a job, so I'll stay here all day and answer whatever you want. I'm, I'm, here for the, I'm here for the duration, and the last month has kind of been a microcosm of my whole career. A lot of ups and a lot of downs, but by far the ups have outweighed the downs, and uh, I'm just uh, emotional just uh, thinking about it. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you to Dr. Um, uh, President McMahon. Uh, thank you to Tim Collins, uh, Alex Kelly, uh, Dr. Jarnigan, the Vice President, uh, for trusting me. And uh, that matters to me, to have people that uh, believe in me and trust me. And uh, I'm not going to let them down. Uh, this is a, a great day for me and my family. Um, uh, my family is, uh, my wife Darcy uh, was here Friday to be able to meet Tim and uh, sign the papers, but uh, unfortunately she had to go back um, uh, for the, uh, uh, we got, still got a daughter in high, uh, senior in high school um, to take care of some business there, but uh, I want to start by thanking her. Um, I told the team today I'm not a great recruiter because I'm I'm honest and going to tell you the truth, but I did recruit pretty hard there. Um, she was, uh, talk about being in, in the culture or uh, a part of this being home. She was a 1988 Lilac uh, Queen Festival uh, queen. And uh, so you guys know, just a tip, it was a blind date and she was blind and I needed a date. So it worked out just perfect for both of us. So been together since we left here in Spokane, but I was uh, single my whole time here. Um, and uh, and uh, we got married two weeks after I went to Minnesota. So, uh, but this is home for her family too. And uh, I've got uh, my oldest son I brought in with me um, uh, to kind of help me through the week, uh, keep me organized and stuff. He's worked for me the last couple years. Uh, hopefully he's gonna uh, branch out a little bit this year, but uh, right now I'm stealing him while I got him. And uh, McGuire's here. Uh, Molly is my my daughter's here. Um, my oldest daughter, she's a senior at, at Gonzaga and a captain of the crew team. And uh, uh, so I got two of my my two oldest kids here. Can you guys just give them a little wave? Or yeah. and I have a I have a son that's a uh, a uh, junior, uh, going to be a junior next year. Uh, he's play, he played for me for two years. Not played very much, but been an outstanding teammate. Uh, he'll be joining uh, Friday uh, when uh, uh, Tim finally, finally called me and offered me the job on Friday afternoon. I was at the uh, Gonzaga uh, crew uh, regatta. And if you've ever been to a regatta, you got about five seconds to watch before they go by. And he called just about, it, just about when they're coming by. But, uh, but in between me accepting the job and, and putting it into the family thread that uh, that uh, we, we, were, we were coming to Eastern, within three seconds, Maddox said, I'm committed. So I got my first commitment uh, to go with these guys, but uh, um, uh, it, it's exciting to, to be able to share this with family. I think it's pretty well documented that uh, this is home. Uh, uh, this, this job means a lot to me um, because it is where it is, because this is uh, uh, where I was, I was born. I was telling people I missed a turn down here on 7th, street and ran into the park where my dad was the park director when I was a little kid and running around and uh, being the Cheney High School basketball coach and and then my career started obviously at Gonzaga and to, to be able to finish up or or at least um, uh, be back in the region I'm not ever going to be finished I don't think this is but this uh, this area is is, is special um, I think it's an elite basketball area you know Gonzaga is elite um, Whitworth is elite, and and so so is Eastern Washington. Uh, Hoop Fest, it's it's a it's a lot of basketball here, and uh, this this one is is great. And I I want to thank um, uh, Jim Hayford. I want to thank Shante Leggins and 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 Coach Riley because they've built a heck of a foundation here. But as I told the team today, a foundation is the basement. It's a, it's the and you have to have a great foundation. But we need to build from there. We need to put walls up because there's always windy days. There's always, you have to have a, a, a roof because it's going to rain some days. And this program has got a great foundation, and I'm just here to enhance it. 
and to build on it and to continue what, what has been started here and what these players did win a championship the last two years and four, I think four out of the last five years they've they've been at the top of the, the big big sky and uh, to go out here and uh, and uh, again to leave a legacy out here is really important to me that we can not just not just have a, a foundation and a good team you know but to have a good program for years and years to come and uh, that's something that uh, that I uh, that I really am t taking uh, a serious uh, commitment to do. And uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, everybody's made a big deal about coming home, but it is a big deal. It's great to you know, have my mom and dad here. Um, uh, my dad turned 91 on Thursday and I was able to be here for his birthday. I was able to go to church yesterday with my mom. It's a lot of, a lot of great things at my age that you really cherish and to be a part of and not to miss out on those days. My wife's family's still here. My dad gave $5,000 to the program yesterday at dinner. My, my brother-in-law, I mean, my father-in-law said I'll match it. So, you know, the, my dad. They told, they told me I had to fundraise. I didn't want to beg the family yet, but they, they're all obviously, uh, my father-in-law graduated from here. My dad got his master's here. You know, it's just uh, a lot of Eastern blood, a lot of regional blood. I mean, uh, my dad's a vandal. I mean, it's in his blood. Uh, he, um, he, you know, obviously went to school there and took him to the Sweet 16 when he was coaching there. And, and he, somebody asked him who he's going to root for when we play Eastern. And he said, I'm rooting for the vandals for every game, except when you're playing the Eagles. And, uh, and that's the way it should be. And that's the way about this region. I think, I think there's people that can, that need to go to an Eastern game at one and a Gonzaga game at seven. There's, it's, it's the region. It's, it's all of us pulling together. I know, I know so many people that are uh, Cougar football fans and Gonzaga basketball fans. There, there's, there's a lot, there's plenty to go around here and, and we need to be a part of that. Uh, this Eastern needs to be, you know, uh, understood that this, this is a great institution. It's a great basketball program. It's a great place to be. And uh, I want to put that in the, in the forefront of everybody in this region's mind. I'm, you know, I'm a vandal. It's in my blood. I'm a zag. I'm proud of that. It's in my blood. But now I'm an eagle, and it's not just in my blood. It's in my heart. It's in my soul. It's in my mind. It's 24-7. I'm thrilled to be an eagle. Go eggs. I thought you said when I said go eggs, they'd say go they back. Sure. Uh, one thing I, I, I left out is uh, another thing for Coach Riley. He's left some great uh, student athletes here. To, I, I, I reached out to him on the phone, and even the ones that aren't coming back or are in the portal or whatever, just w class young men uh, that I'm really, uh, you guys should really be proud of, and I can't wait to work with because uh, they, they're, they're, they, there's a reason why they won. The culture here is in great shape, and I've got, I've got to sustain it and elevate it. But right now, I feel really good uh, just being with these guys this weekend on the phone and, and with them today. Uh, th this, this, there's a reason why this program's where it is, and it's going to stay there, and we're going to even get it up to the next level. I think he needs to answer that, no? <laughs> um, no, he just, uh, he just, he was a dad. He was proud. He just said, the best thing is you, you, you're doing it the right way uh, and that uh, win or lose that uh, we're, you know, yeah, he, he, loves, he loves this area. He's lived here his whole life and he, he's just proud that we're, that we've gone full circle and to come back and uh, be a part. Um, I think uh, it matters, and that's the thing. I mean, 
people were like, well, you know, it's a good story that, that, that they, they came from here. It's a good story, you know, but it's, it's not a story to us. It's our life and, and this, the legacy to, to be able to take Gonzaga to the lead eight and come out here and, and do something special with Eastern. Uh, at, at, that was at the beginning of my career, to, at the, towards the end of it, to, to be able to do something out here and to have my parents. He, he walked out. He kind of acted like he wasn't, you know, kind of. But, but yesterday when I, I walked in to, for dinner last night, he had his Eastern Eagle hat on, so that tells you where he's at. Um, wow. I got to, uh, at halftime of a Cheney High football game, I got to be Batman while they played the song in my Batman uniform and go around the band and, and while, while the Joker chased me. I don't know. Batman was my favorite. Uh, I was Batman for Halloween for about 15 straight years, I think. Um, but, but honestly, I, you don't really, I don't have any memories because I was so, I think I was first grade when I left. Is that right, Mom? Kindergarten when I left. So my memories are... But, but that was what was so unique about running into that park is that I, didn't, I, I would have never remembered that until, until yesterday when I, when I drove by it. And I'm like, wow, that's where I used to play all summer while Dad was, you know, doing the arts and crafts and, and doing the uh, parks and rec stuff. Um, I didn't have to coach again, but I knew I wanted to. That, that was what's been great about the last month is it's, it's almost like it COVID did with all of us. It gives you time to reflect and, and uh, appreciate what you have when it's taken away. And uh, uh, when, when the season ended, I, 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 I knew afterwards that I needed to be with the team still. It keeps me young. It keeps me, you know, in the morning excited to go out. And, and, and I'm competitive. And... Uh, Tim said to the team today, you've met somebody that's as competitive as him. We've got to get on a golf course and figure that out because I think I might be more, but we'll see. But, uh, um, uh, yeah, I was, I was sure that I wasn't done uh, this year, and yet uh, there's not a lot of jobs still open out there, and uh, they, 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 they took a chance on me, and I'm, I'm going to not let them down. We're going to get this thing uh, um, not, not just, uh, where we are now in a good spot. We're going to go to a great spot from here. Yeah. Yeah. No. And, and I've said that all along the, the memories and the, the experience that I've had in the last month, I wouldn't trade any job for it. You know, the Long Beach state was a great situation for me. My kids were all born in, when I was at the University of Minnesota. All four kids were born in Minnesota, but they were raised in Long Beach. You know, so McGuire, I think, was five or six when we left. He's 23 now. You know, my, my oldest is a, a senior in high school, so we'll be empty nesters at the Eag Nest uh, next year. But um, uh, it, couldn't have, it couldn't have played out any better because, you know, I'm not getting you know, spiritual or anything, but it was meant to be. This is where I belong. This is, you know, where I started, and uh, uh, there, there's work to do here still uh, to get this whole region still to another level. And uh, I, I believe that the Eagles are, are uh, the, the, the one that's going to take the next step, you know. A lot of programs around here, I don't want to name names or anything, but a lot of them are at, at great levels right now, but, and, and, but so are the Eagles, and, and uh, we're not going to take a back seat. We're going to just go... Uh, you know, there's grit here, as uh, President uh, McMahon says, and, and we're going to show some grit and uh, just keep grinding here and, and, and continuing to, to go in the, in the ascent that we're, the program's already headed. Well, because you got to do it every year, you know, and... and uh, They've done a great job here of evaluating and getting young guys in here and redshirting them and developing them. And uh, I, I think I'm, I'm just super impressed that, you know, a lot of the guys that were such key members last year are, you know, go, are, are gone. But, but yet, you know, there's, there's people underneath them that are ready to step up. And the uh, hardest thing right now is every, I don't care if you're at Duke or at Eastern Washington, you're going to have to rebuild every year. You're going to have to you know, there's not going to be those teams where it's the same team for three, four years. 
uh, like it was, you know, uh, earlier in my career. But you got to adapt. Tim and I talked about that. You know, you got to adapt or die. And and the, the landscape is different right now. You know, we've got to we've got to continue to to work to make these guys uh, 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 compensated. We got to work to make them uh, better players. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, though, it's still basketball. It's still uh, defend, defending, it's still, you know, getting them into, into spots on a break. It's still uh, uh, beating another team. And so the, at the core of it, it's still there, even though, you know, getting to the court is different. But I, I, I enjoy both of it. And I, I, I enjoy, you know, helping these guys be, be better young men and, 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 uh, and come in here and, and the way the rules are, you know, you can compensate them better. And hopefully we can do that as, as this program grows. Yeah, I was really impressed with uh, wh where Eastern has taken the program, you know, and I, I know, again, we talk about the foundation, but it goes p past the previous coaches and past Tim and, and uh, uh, President McMahon. I mean, the, I looked at this job in, in the 90s uh, when I was an assistant at Gonzaga and, um, uh, you know, being an assistant at, at Gonzaga, you know, uh, I ended up staying there. And uh, there was just a lot of challenges, and there's still a lot of challenges here. But there's a lot of challenges everywhere, you know. Uh, they're they're just they're just maybe different. But uh, I really think that that they've made this uh, a, a a lot better job than it's been for years and years. And they continue to to give more resources and uh, you know just the the mere re, re, redoing the floor this year. That's a big project. That's a big commitment from a president. And, and, and to a university. And, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, I talked to our team today about being thankful for what, what we have, not what we don't, and not worried about what we don't have. And that's what I'm so impressed about these guys. You know, um, uh, they, they are, they're, they're, they're ballers. They're, they're here for one reason. They're here to play basketball and, and to, to, to get a d degree and an education. And uh, those are the kind of people I want to work with. The, the 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 portal for this day and age is always open <laughs> whether it's open or closed it's always open it's you know um, but we don't want to you know we're, we're, we're gonna go get some guys in needs and that kind of thing but but again this program is got to get some younger guys too and develop them and continue to to uh, uh, get people and you're not going to be able to go out and get an open checkbook and get guys off the off the market that are ready to play. You know, uh, you might be able to get one here or there that you you can take back, but but this program's still going to have to get some kids from this region that that are hungry, that have a edge to them like these guys do, and and want to get better. You know, uh, that that 1999 team at Gonzaga had uh, played 10 guys every game. We had I think uh, six of them had redshirted at some point in their in their in their career, and I believe four of them had paid at least one year in their career. So, you know, it's, you know, and that's a long time ago and basketball's changed and the landscape's changed and I'm not going to, you know, beat Gonzaga, Gonzaga, Gonzaga into these guys' heads. We're Eastern, Eastern, Eastern. And, but, but there are, you know, some core values that, that I can bring with that, you know, that are going to go and, and in recruiting, you know, we're going to, we're going to have grit as, as we say, and we're, we're going to go find guys and the guys want to get better and, and make them better. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. We'll, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go play whoever. Are you? Which one are you talking about? I've got three of them. I'm not so. I'm. I'm I thought you were talking about Long Beach State. I mean, uh, I, I got no problem playing. Uh, I, I have a problem playing Gonzaga. I want to. I want to beat Gonzaga. Okay. I don't want to just go play them. So I'm not sure we're ready for that. So I'm not going to sit here and pop off to the media. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go beat by Gonzaga. We're not, we're not at that level yet, but we want to get there. You know, uh, we want to, we, we, we don't want to take a second seat to anybody. We want to, uh, but we got to worry about ourselves right now. I mean, they got, um, I'm so proud of that place and what they've done and what they've accomplished. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to, to, to share the region with them. There's plenty of room for both programs and 
I mean, Mark was and I were on the phone for two hours yesterday going through candidates and players and everything else. I mean, um, it's it's in my blood, and we're you know we're in each other's wedding. All the, his dad married us both, so you know there's that that's that's family too. But this but this is my this is my family now, and uh, uh, you know we we'll use each other for resources. But playing playing friends is no fun. Tommy and I in the NCAA tournament having a match against each other. You know, if I had to lose in a tournament, I wouldn't, I'd rather lose to anybody. It'd be a family member, but to play them sucks. You know, it's just, it's hard because, you know, that's somebody you, you care about and you know their family and you know their kids and, and our, our kids are friends. And so it's, it's difficult to, 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 to do that, but that's college basketball, that's competing. It's also, you know, there's nobody you'd rather beat on a golf course or playing cards at, the, at Christmas is, is with family. So, you know, when you're out there competing, you're out there competing. Absolutely. And, and, and all the free beer to Tim out there at the swinging doors, too. You can give that to him, too. But uh, uh, it, it is. To walk in this room, it's like, you know, this isn't a press conference. This is uh, all my buddies, you know. <laughs> That's Bob Materney from the swinging door. I, didn't even know, I didn't only see him back there. I just recognize the voice. And uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of friends in this room, and there's a lot of love in this room. And from, I mean, Dennis Patchett was my play-by-play -play guy back then. So, uh, you know, it, it, go, it goes deep. And uh, with that becomes, you know, a care. Uh, you know, it matters to me. I'm not here. I, as I told Tim, I'm not here to retire. I'm here. I'm here to build a legacy for myself and for Eastern Washington basketball. We get that NIL going, guys. I, I don't think Dad ever thought he'd be writing a check to Eastern Washington, but they gave. They, Yes. <laughs> Comes out of her inheritance, you're fine. Yeah, Doc. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's our style of play is the only one they asked me, right? Did you guys ask anything else? Uh, but we, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I'm sensitive to what they're going through. This, this is not easy, you know. This is, they came here to play for a great coach. Coach Riley did a tremendous job here. They believed in him, and uh, he, he did what's best for his family and himself, and that's, that's what we all would do. These guys are, are doing what's best for themselves. But, you know, I'm not coming in there to replace him. You know, it's, it's, I, as I mentioned to him, it's almost like a family splitting or a divorce going in. And I, I don't want to be that guy coming in and forcing the uh, stepfather in on him. You know, I want, I want them to trust me. I want them to get to know me before they judge me. And that's why, you know, when I cancel my ticket, I don't have one to go home right now. I'm going to stay at least this week uh, because I want them to know I care about them. You know, obviously, I'll, I'll help him become. I think my track record shows that I'll help him basketball-wise. But I want him to know I'm going to help him as people. I'm going to, you know, I want to. I forgot to tell him. You know, if you need me to call your parents, if you need me to call your AAU or your your agent or whatever to make them comfortable, I want them to to. They're not going to be successful here if they don't if they're not comfortable. If they don't believe in who their leader is. And I, I need to gain that trust from them. That's the most important thing for, for me to for them. So they did a lot of listening today, but, but, but they listened. I could tell, you know, they're, they're locked in and attentive, and, and they, they're giving me a chance, and that's all I ask. Thank you. Go Eags.